Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Jason's Weird Reads. If you're new here and you like horror books, science fiction, and fantasy, hit the subscribe button and uh, comment down below and we'll discuss some books. And if you're not new here, thanks so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, so I think this is like my second uh, Friday Reads video ever. <laughs> and the reason for this is usually um, I'm usually either working or sort of recovering from work and you know I had a couple of uh, rough days I guess in my last couple of days of work but I really wanted to do uh, a reading update because uh, they're fun and they're uh, I like watching them and I always want to do them and but I kind of want to stick to the whole Friday thing you know Friday reads uh, sort of like booktube tradition um, so I also got a uh, some more book mail that I, I was too impatient to wait to record it and if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter you've probably seen it but I was really happy to get in the mail by uh, Michael Griffin his newest book Armageddon House this is uh, we, ooh, <laughs> there we go this is his latest book and it's published by um, Undertow publications and I really love everything that I've seen Undertow do so far. They, they produce quality <laughs> quality uh, dark fiction I would say but a lot of it's weird fiction which is my you know my thing. I love weird fiction uh, among like you know many other genres but uh, weird fiction is uh, sort of like home for me. Now this book so far I'm already reading it. Um, what page am I on here? I'm on page 33 and uh, uh, so far I'm loving it it's not what I expected but that's okay because I didn't know what to expect the only thing that I knew is that this is a well judging by the title it's about the end of the world and so that's what we're led to believe as we're going through uh, this book but I don't know if that's the way it's gonna end and uh, I'm not gonna say anything else because I think it's really good to go into these types of books blind it's not necessarily weird fiction yet Although Michael Griffin, he's known for writing weird fiction, uh, literary type weird fiction, dark stories. And so far I'm loving this. It's it's really good. I, I like the tension that's uh, that's slowly building up. It's getting like, I swear to God, each page brings more tension. And uh, so I'm really, really interested to see where this goes. So I want to thank Undertow Press, uh, Michael Kelly from Undertow Press who sent me this book and I want to thank also Michael Griffin for sending or setting this up for me. Um, I was really happy to get this in the mail and start reading it. And I'm gonna, because they sent this to me, I'm gonna do a separate video uh, where I will review it and if you want to go into it blind you might not want to watch it because I'm gonna be talking about the plot. Alright, so I also want to talk about um, excuse me, The Wise Friend by, uh, by Ramsey Campbell. I've been listening to this on my Audible account, and uh, I, I, I guess, I think Kasha and Bookland, I don't think she liked it very much. I think she DNF'd it, I'm not sure, or she just didn't like it. Could be thinking of someone else, too. And I know that Brad Proctor, I believe, was also not really enjoying it. So I kind of went, went into this book with low expectations, but I find myself really enjoying it. I mean, a lot. And maybe that's the reason for that is because I went in with low expectations. Uh, sometimes, you know, uh, writers, when they when they get older, they don't write as well as they did when they were younger. Um, but this story has a lot of family dynamics. Um, and it's very slow burn. So I think if you're going in looking for a lot of action and maybe you know a lot of uh, supernatural happenings or whatever uh, that's not going to happen right away um, in fact it takes very much its time i think this story is more about the characters and uh and what they're going through and the sort of family dynamic that's that's displayed in this book and i think you know it's important when you read a book like this you kind of have to enjoy the characters and I really enjoy the characters in this book. Uh, there's some interesting things going on. I have my suspicions as to where it's going. And I'm really excited to see uh, where it will end up. So yeah, I'm enjoying uh, The Wise Friend by Ramsey Campbell. Um, would I recommend it? 
maybe not uh, to everyone. If you like slow burns, maybe more character driven stories, then you know going into it knowing that it's not gonna, it's not going to dazzle right away. Um, you know, and I'm not, uh, you know, it's it's fine if people don't like uh, the book, honestly, be because I don't know how many times I go into a book expecting one thing and finding out it's something else entirely. And I could be even find that I enjoy the book, but because it's not going the way I expected it to or thought it would, I'll put the book down and read it again later because, uh, I'm not in the mindset for where it's actually going. And, uh, or I just won't like it. <laughs> I don't know how many books or, or movies for that matter I thought was going to be something completely different and usually it's marketing that does this and uh, although I don't think marketing has anything to do with the uh, with the direction of this one with uh, the wise friend but uh, but yeah I've, I've put down a lot of books and movies because uh, because of expectation expectations will really ruin things for you and that's why I like going in blind I knew that uh, the wise friend here has a lot to do with with family and I don't really have a big family myself so I, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to identify with it at all but you know I do actually identify with some of it and and it's a good read so far all right um, I'm also listening to gateways to Abomination by Matthew M. Bartlett, and this is read by uh, John Paget, and it's uh, <laughs> it's an absolute joy to listen to. Uh, for one reason, I'm a I'm a big John Paget fan in regards to his writing and to his narration. He sold me on his uh, on his first collection of books, uh, Secrets to Ventriloquism, and if you haven't read that yet, I I keep touting this book on my booktube channel because it totally blew me away. I highly recommend reading or listening to the audiobook because John Paget narrates it and he's a ventriloquist and so there's parts in the book where ven ventriloquism obviously plays a role and it's just eerie as hell. The first two or three short stories, they're, they're good stories but it doesn't really start to pick up I think until the third story and then it's just absolutely mind-blowing. But, uh, yeah, definitely check that out. But I'm talking about uh, Gateways to Abomination here. And these stories are dark, and they're short, and they don't really have any plot whatsoever. But, uh, but they're very focused on human instinct, especially in terms of lust and, and, uh, and want. And it's displayed in some very interesting ways. I... I recommend this highly too. You could either read it or listen to it, uh, as with all the books I'm talking about here, of course. But I'm having a lot of fun with the audiobook, and it's very short. It's like three and a half hours. It's a very short book itself, and so definitely uh, check that out if you if you want to experience some very short uh, weird fiction with uh, <laughs> with some very dark uh, some very dark content. I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, sexually charged without being like pornographic in any way whatsoever it's just more about the human experience of of lusting and uh, I've read it before but I don't really remember the stories and I'm only about halfway through the audiobook so I will report back and tell you <laughs> uh, if there's any more themes that seem to reoccur um, so recently uh, the weird fiction community lost one of its uh, biggest pioneering uh, champions of the genre in uh, Joe S. Pulver Sr. He passed away, I believe, due to complications with his epilepsy. So if you don't know Joseph Pulver, that's understandable. He wasn't uh, a bestseller any, or anything like that. But uh, he did he did write a lot of uh, weird fiction, but his prose wasn't necessarily easy to get into unless you know what you're dealing with. And what I mean by that is uh, he wrote a lot of uh, poetry prose. 
and uh, and he did it very well. Like this guy was very, very talented at writing. Uh, personally, I've never really read too much in the way of uh, poetry prose until Joe Pulver, and uh, I thought maybe it would just be a story in in poetry format. But the way Joe does it is uh, it's written like any other book with paragraphs, but the prose itself is very much like like written like poetry, short sentences, uh, sort of poetic language. And he doesn't always write in this way. And, and the book I'm talking about here is I'm, I'm reading Blood Will Have Its Season by Joe S. Uh, Pulver. And some of the stories uh, aren't that way at all, but uh, a lot of them are. I'm only like a few stories in, so I can't really say that, but uh, I'm pretty sure that that's the way it's going to go. But yeah, um, I'm really enjoying it, and I was really sad to see that Joe Pulver had passed on. Um, I was a big fan of his on the uh, on the uh, Lovecraft Ezine podcast, which uh, is actually on here on YouTube, and you can also download it a couple of days after they live stream it. Um, on you, onto your podcast, whatever your podcast service is. And uh, he was very passionate. He always spoke very passionately. <laughs> when he was when they were talking to an author of whom he really enjoyed, you could just he he would just become so very animated. And I absolutely loved watching Joe uh, <laughs> discuss his favorite things, or even maybe the things he didn't like. So he get passionate about that too. But, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, he stopped going on the show due to health complications. And, uh, and he never did get better. So, so rest in peace, Joe. Um, you were taken from us far too soon. Um, after I learned of his uh, uh, impending demise, I uh, downloaded a, a long, dark, grim road and... Uh, and this is uh, written in that poetry prose type, and it's very grim. I mean, <laughs> the the story basically is about uh, these uh, these people traveling, and you don't know whether or not to like them, and then you find that they're doing some terrible things, and you don't like them at all. I highly recommend reading. It's a it's fairly short. It's like thirty eight pages, like short story novelette size. I highly recommend reading it if you're curious at all about. Joe Pulver's style and I'll leave links in the comments below so you can check that out um, so that is I think all I have yep so yeah that was uh, my second probably Friday reads thank you for joining me and uh, if you stayed this long an extra big special thank you um, so remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment Keep being creative, keep being safe, and taking care of yourself, and I will see you guys in the next bookish video.